If I'm going to solve the equation f of x equals g of x, well, I'll take f of x first and set that equal to g of x. Okay, so the next thing to do, the easiest thing to do, is to factor the denominators if I can. And on the left side, I see that I have x squared minus 9, which is difference of squares, which means that it will factor as x plus 3, the square root of 9, x minus 3. The right side stays the same. All right, so now I want to multiply both sides by the common denominator. That's going to be the combination of the denominators that includes at least part of each denominator. Okay, and by that I mean I'm going to multiply both sides by this x plus 3, x minus 3. x plus 3, x minus 3. Because x plus 3, x minus 3 is the denominator of the first one. And it includes the part x plus 3 as part of it, which is the denominator of the second one. Okay, so it includes both denominators. All right, so x plus 1 over x plus 3, x minus 3 times x plus 3, x minus 3, equals 1 over x plus 3, times x plus 3, x minus 3. Okay, so I multiplied both sides by the common denominator. Um, the good thing about this is that this x plus 3 will cancel out with the x plus 3 on the bottom. This x minus 3 will cancel out with this x minus 3 on the bottom. I'm left with just x plus 1 on the left side. On the right side, this x plus 3 cancels out with this x plus 3. I'm left with 1 times x minus 3. Okay, makes this a much easier equation. All right, so x plus 1 equals, distribute the 1, 1 times x is x, 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Subtract x from both sides. Cancels it out on the right, but on the left it also cancels to leave me with 1 equals negative 3. Well, since 1 does not equal negative 3, this is something that is not true, a false statement, which means that my original equation has no solution.